Hello everybody, Waffle Time here. So, you've made it through a couple mechanical bosses and need to defeat possibly the biggest aggravator of all, Skeletron Prime. He is a flying mechanical spiked head equipped with cannons, buzzsaws, vice grips, and even laser beams. There is absolutely no way you're going to stop that. No, it's out of question. Or is it? Here are four simple steps to make beating Skeletron Prime a walk in the park. Here's my disclaimer for you guys, these steps are very, very similar to the video I have, my tutorial against the twins, which I'll link now if you haven't watched already. This is more about the beginning steps of getting to it, and then the bulk of it is about Skeletron Prime's AI, because there is a lot to know about that annoying pest. The first step, as you may or may not have guessed, is making sure you are equipped. This starts with getting the best tier of armor in your world, whether it be adamantite or titanium, having Hermes boots, and potentially some jump boosting items or wings. By jump boosting items, I mean maybe a cloud in a bottle, tsunami in a bottle, sandstorm in a bottle, you know, you know. I'm not the proudest man, but I made fairy wings, which required 20 souls of flight and 100 pixie dust. They're very easy to make, and they make you look 100 times more manly than you were before. Step two is going to be getting a Mega Shark and Icor or Cursed Bullets. In order to make a Mega Shark, you're going to need a Mini Shark, which could be bought from the arms dealer. Illegal Gun Parts, which can also be bought from the arms dealer, but only at night time. Five Shark Fins, and 20 Souls of Might, which you get from defeating the Destroyer. And lastly, in order to get those Icor or Cursed Bullets, you're going to need either Cursed Flames and 150 Musket Balls, or Icor and 150 Musket Balls. The Cursed Flames come from Clingers in the Underground Corruption, and the Icor comes from Icor Stickers in the Underground Crimson. So just make sure to stock up on a whole bunch of those because, oh man, they are helpful. Oh, oh man, they just shred bosses to pieces. Step three is going to be to beef up your Sky Platform. This includes extending it and putting bonfires on it. You could even hook up some wires and pressure plates to heart and mana star statues if you really want the boost. As you can see, I didn't even go that far. I kind of just stopped at bonfires. I think I had one or two heart lanterns left over that I just kind of threw down. And honestly, that did the trick. Before we go on to step number four, I have two quick ideas to throw at you. The first one being you could reforge a lot of your items in order to get better modifiers. My personal favorites are getting warding or guarding on everything, and that gives you plus three or plus four defense. It doesn't seem like a lot, but oh my goodness it adds up, and it is so helpful. The second idea is more of a correction to myself. I'm kind of a complete bozo and forgot to drink any of my buff potions before summoning Skeletron Prime. I got too excited. Make sure you drink your potions, they would make this much, much, much easier. Last but not least, that leads us to our final step, which is number four, to summon Skeletron Prime and kill him. In order to summon Skeletron Prime, you'll need a mechanical skull, which requires 30 bones, 5 of any iron bar, 3 souls of light, and 3 souls of night. Now, as I previously mentioned, this absolute unit has a cannon, a buzz saw, a vice grip, and laser beams. It's almost not fair at this point. He also grows giant spikes out of his head and spins very quickly at you, so you need to be careful for that as his attack goes up a lot while spinning. As you can see, the laser beams were up on the left and the bombs were up on the right. Those are the first two things you want to go for. Personally, I like going for the lasers first and then the bombs and then either melees and then the head. I was kind of gunning a little hard for the lasers at first. It just depends on which side you're running on. If you're running to the left, obviously the lasers are going to be much easier for you to hit. If you're running to the right, obviously the bombs are going to be much easier for you to hit. I would just strongly, strongly recommend taking those two range things out of the equation. Once you have those two out of the way, you've got 90% of the fight over with. And as I previously said, his damage increased vastly whenever his head is spinning, so try and avoid that at all costs. Run to and fro, try and dodge his attacks, be careful for those bombs as they sneak up on you sometimes. And after you get the ranged and melee taken out, the fight is over. All you gotta do is shoot his head and just not get touched by it. Keep on running and gunning, and now finally bask in your glory because you have single-handedly defeated Skeletron Prime. Congratulations! As quick as that was, that's going to be the end for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Also, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, be sure to leave it down in the comment section. I try to respond to all of you guys. As you can see, after you've beaten your final mechanical boss, down in the bottom left, there's going to be a little tidbit that says the jungle is growing restless. This opens the door for a lot of new challenging bosses in which we are going to find the easiest way to take care of them. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks again for tuning in.